Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, it's August the 15th and we're celebrating World Granny Square Day. For those of you who've been to subscribe to me for a while, you would know I'm not a great fan of Granny Squares, mainly because, I don't know, I have trouble doing them and I hate joining them. But this week I got motivated by Bendigo Woolen Mills. They ran a competition on submitting a picture of your granny square using their yarn and I decided I'd have a go. For some time I've had the Sheldon granny square pattern which is free and I'll leave a link in the description below in my pattern stash and I decided I would give it a go and this was my entry in Bendigo Wool Mills World Granny Square Day competition. This is the Sheldon granny square and I love this. Why? Because it's big. I don't have to make a lot of them, but I really like that center texture. This is awesome for a heat pad on my bench or on my table. Those bobbles help insulate. Now, what did I use? I used Bendigo Woolen Mills 10 ply cotton. I like their little tags, reducing the carbon footprint, and they're always packed well. This is 100% cotton made in Australia. I use the colour watermelon, which is like an orangey red. There are, at the moment, 20 colours in their range of 10-ply cotton. It's a 200 gram ball, and there are 360 metres in the ball. Sorry, guys, I didn't check out the yardage. I didn't do a conversion. Anyway, can you buy it internationally? Yes, you can. Shipping wise, once you've filled your cart and you're happy um, and put in your location internationally, it'll calculate the shipping for you and then it'll tell you the total cost. Australia, if you do live in Australia and you do orders um, for $50 or more, the shipping is free. That's really low, $50. And if your order is under $50, it's $5 shipping and you can't beat that. So my review of the Bendigo 10 ply cotton. Now I'm not a fan of cotton. I find it really hard to work with and I'm always disappointed in the texture when on the finished project. But I like this cotton. It crocheted beautifully. It slid along the hook and being a complicated pattern for me, when I had to frog it, it frogged beautifully. And more importantly, it is soft. I really do like this cotton. Now, for those of you being with me for a while, you would know I made the Rude dishcloth for 2020. So look away now if you're easily offended. I call this my fire truck dishcloth. This is knitted and that's the 10 ply cotton. And it knitted beautifully. It slid along the needles and yes, frogged really well. And it is really soft. I would use this for face washes or face cloths. Yes, I really like this cotton. Now I compared it to the sugar and cream cotton, which is definitely a heavier weight, only slightly heavier. This is nice to work with, but it's never really soft when it's done up, when the finished project. Um, the eight ply Lincraft cotton, this is nice to work with, but it's not soft when it's finished. And, and I don't particularly like knitting with this one. I do have in my stash the Spotlight Four Seasons Flinders Cotton, which is eight ply. But I think that is a lot finer than the eight ply from Lincraft. That is really quite fine. For squishiness, I really like this. But my favourite cotton, I can't get anymore in Australia. I haven't seen it anywhere. This was Karatopu's cotton. It's probably a similar 10 ply width to the Bendigo cotton. This is really soft. I made a bikini top for a young girl in this and it was really soft against his skin. She really likes this. I do wish I could get more because I do like that cotton. But right now, this is the one I can get. I can buy it online and I think I will be buying more because I've got a pattern for a table runner that's in 8 ply and I reckon I could make it in 10 ply, no problem. 
Um, it takes a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle and I used on my Sheldon square, I used a 4.5 crochet hook. Oops, I haven't sewn my end in yet. Pretend you didn't see that. So there you have it. Check out the Bendigo Woolen Mills um, website. They're located in Victoria State in Australia, which is south to me. Right now, Victoria, for the second time, are in stage four lockdowns, which means nothing is happening. It's really quite sad down there about being in lockdown. And I have quite a few friends down there and some Yarny sisters down there. So, yeah, um, buying their cotton helps their economy, which is struggling at the moment. We've just changed to Great Ocean Road butter, which is made in Victoria. My husband and son are mad butter fans. And, yeah, we're buying their butter. We're doing a little bit to help their economy. And I probably will do some more. And that's what I tell my husband. It's not that I need it. I'm helping the economy. There you have it, guys. Bendigo Woolen Mills World Granny Square Day. Get out there and make a granny square today on the 15th. If I can, you can. In summary, um, my hashtag, Secondhand September AU. I'm really touched at how um, popular this is proving to be. All the positive feedback I've got all the helpful hints that will be my next video launching secondhand september so you can get ready for it now it won't be just knitting crochet embroidery needle craft it will be upcycling recycling repurposing you can do woodwork it can be gardening i am going to give you ideas on things i have either upcycled recycled or done and I'm going to give away two prizes at the moment. I may stretch that to three. We will see. But make sure you check out my next video, Secondhand at September AU, Make Along. And all those people that have given me all this feedback, I hope you do join in because it will be fun. And my aim in September is to reduce my carbon footprint by a little bit. Yes, we use acrylic yarn and it's plastic. But hey, guys, some people are allergic to natural fibres. But that doesn't mean we can't reduce our carbon footprint in other areas. So join in the fun. Until next time, make sure you take care of each other and have one crafty day. Bye for now.